Hello guys and welcome to this video. This is Richard Curry Jr. and we are talking about um, how to create offers that sell out. This is part two. So we're starting with pricing. So pricing is basically how you price your products and services and um, um, I'm not going to delve, talk too much about this, okay, but pricing is key. One of the things that I do with pricing is this what you're seeing on the screen is um, there's a difference between the value of what you're offering and then the actual price that you're offering it at, okay? And what I do is that when I make proposals, especially for consulting and, you know, this kind of things or coaching or any kind of sort of thing, what I do is that I let people know upfront the value that I'm giving to them. So here is what, this is um, just a summary of the consulting fee for one of my services and the total value is uh, 595,000 but then I tell them hey it's a discounted fee. I'm giving it I'm giving it at a discounted view of 150,000 naira and what immediately does is that what immediately happens is that you know these people think okay wow he's giving me a discount already so don't they don't come back to you most often to ask for discounts further discounts okay what I've witnessed is that once I start once I started doing this a lot of people do not come back to me because they already know that I've given them a discount so don't come back to me asking for a discount okay or even if you 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 have to ask me for a discount um most likely you well, generally for me this is what happens anyway when I put this up they don't come back usually they don't come back to ask me for discounts okay so another thing that instead of in reducing price increase the value so that's what uh, we have to learn as um, entrepreneurs learn how to increase your value instead of reducing the price because most times you want to get pressured into reducing the prices that you charge okay of course there's a place for knowing how much you should charge for your products and services but then basically i focus more on increasing the value so i'm going to talk about that increasing value later on selling your value sell more of your value than increasing decreasing your price or reducing your price okay what stuff are you going to add what most stuff are you going to build into it to compensate and even help you deliver more than they are paying for okay so that's that payment plan 6b so payment plans is you know um how they are how you structure your payments in a way that it's feasible remember all you are doing is to make sure that the offer is juicy enough and reasonable enough for the person buying okay so the first thing is you have part-time payment so usually i but this is not for every kind of product part-time payment usually for things like you have an online coaching program that is long term or you have um um you have yeah usually a coaching program or even a, an online course you have a consulting that a consulting program that you offer consulting services that you offer okay so you can use part payments where you know you, you can spread it uh, two part payments can be three part payments monthly payments or bi monthly payments okay that depends on you and then you add things like online and offline payments so you give people that that choice and you make it more flexible for people so for people to make payments and easier for people to make payments for your services so the whole aim is to make this juicy and make it convenient for people as much as you can okay um generally if you're selling things like commodities i really do not encourage that it's one of payment like you're selling perfume shoes handbags and all those things you know it's one of payments and you get it and go but things that have to do with coaching programs um um, information products yeah sorry coaching programs um consulting services nope 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 it is um you can use sorry uh pack payments for it and yeah, it makes it, and it makes it a little bit more easier for people and convenient for them to pay for your products and services all right so talking about adding value more value to your products and services so this is one one of, uh, one of the things that i leverage a lot is bonuses okay giving people bonuses all right so so this is another i saw on facebook and he, you have um somebody promoting a haul okay one of the things that you need to learn how to do is to project the extra value that you are giving to people so the haul goes for ten thousand naira. it's an offer this is an offer that he's making the haul goes for ten thousand naira. remember that when i talked about pricing okay so at some point also you might have to reduce your prices price not um so much but it only really depends on you depends on your goals 
but at least general uh, generally i tell people that you don't you can you can give at a cost price the only time that you get you reduce your price lesser than your cost price is when you know that the return you are, you are targeting a hot audience and the return will be massive for you but generally you know you cost price reduction is best keep it at your cost price or a little bit more than your your cost price so that you get some profit up, up front you, you are willing to give away a, um, um, a lot of profit and take just little okay so you have this um, offer and look at the bonuses free additional features it says projector plus, plus screen very awesome um, reception car park so he doesn't just come here writing board security post offer ends at this time so he doesn't just come here and say um hey here is a whole rent no but he tells you the additional things that yeah and believe you me a lot of people will sign up for this offer because of these free additional bonuses like it gives that feeling of oh i'm getting something extra for just paying ten thousand naira and the capacity and all that so this is an example of adding more value instead of reducing price because if somebody comes here and sees ten thousand naira and the person will not think about hey, reducing price he will not think about reducing price okay he will not say hey i need a discount or that because he has seen all this stuff that he's getting and he knows that for him it's rational it's sensible it's reasonable for him okay so that's an example of a great way to add bonuses okay and the question you ask yourself when creating bonuses is you ask yourself what other complementary stuff will they need this is the question you ask yourself what other things can you add to your product to further complement the experience give them better experience and help them to generate that kind of results that they want by utilizing your product so an example is that maybe you're hosting a blogging workshop that sells for thirty thousand naira then you can add a bonus bonuses could be like giving them a wordpress team like giving them 10 blogging blog topics for each participant so you create blog topics for each participant and send to them you have 30 days whatsapp support these are things that you can add to your offer okay and this is an idea of how to add bonuses to your offer ask yourself the simple question if they were buying this what other things will they need to complement and further help them with the experience of this main product all right so that's the question you ask yourself to create better bonuses okay number nine is social proof so social proof is basically what when people ask the question why should i trust you why should i believe in you this is what you put there okay you have things like um this is an example uh, he says and now the 2016 Stephen awards winner of the best leadership and skill development program this is social proof he has won an award this answers your question things like number of buyers things like reviews and testimonies things like shares likes and comments okay when people send you an email testifying of your product you do a screenshot get their permission to use it and do a screenshot when you win an award you add that to your offer when you know these are all questions that people will be asking in their mind okay why should we trust you why should we believe in you have you done this before can you help me with this so when you bring out those things it adds credibility to your offer and helps people to make that buy decision faster okay very important social proof integrate it into when you sell products to people ask for reviews all right very important number 10 is now the content and experiences that you add to your products and services the content and experiences now these are the core little uh, big or little things that they have to go through in the course of having your products and services now i know of um or i know of a product by jeff walker he sells his book product launch formula but then inside this book once you buy the book inside it he still offers you free videos a lot of free videos i think he doesn't mention this on the marketing but then once you buy the book you get inside the book you get access to a series of videos of interviews of people who have done launches and what they have gone through how they did it and the results they got okay and these are all the experiences it takes you to to move from somebody who doesn't know how to launch products to somebody who knows how to launch a lot of products and make money from launching products use your products and services so you have this is an example you have um where i say in six months you have working for you 
black these um at least two um speed recruitment marketing funnels that attracts high performance recruits on autopilot and this and that and this you see a lot of things that i mentioned in specifics the different content and experiences for some people the content and experiences could go as into um um they they have somebody who's hosting a, a mentoring session like a, a five days boot camp and they're doing it in a hotel you have your own room each you have the opportunity to network with people there is the core lessons they are going to be experts and celebrities who will come in, in to teach there'll be um you have time to swim you know experiences that touch different aspects of people's life so it's not just like they are coming to learn one thing but then just learning that one thing they'll be getting access to this 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 the, all that experience you know so ask yourself what are the different yeah, there'll be games also you have games inside there you have fun games you have a lot of things that you can add so always ask yourself what are the things that you can build into your product or service or offering to build the experience for, for people okay when you go to a hotel the hotel is just known for accommodation simple that's what they know that's accommodation that's the basic thing they are selling but then you have the, you have to give you an ac they they have to change your your soap every morning they have to change your your towel every morning they have to bring your food upstairs to you instead of telling you to come to the restaurant you and a lot of other things that they do just to build that comfort and experience for you so always ask yourself what can you build into your products and services to build um to build the experience the quality of experience that they have number 11 is money back guarantee so usually this is um what people are to you know ease the tension from the market from the buyer so tell them things like hey in 30 days you're going to get this result in 30 days and if you don't get it you can ask for a refund this is usually how it goes okay so i guarantee you that in the next 30 days or in the next seven days or in the next 90 days you are going to get the result if you follow what I'm going to be teaching you. But um, but if you don't get it, you can ask for your phone. Most times, it I don't know, but generally in most businesses that I've seen, and even in my business, I've not seen anybody ask me for a refund. Okay, people don't usually do that. But then this is just upfront when they are getting to know about your product and making that buy decision. You help and make it easier for them, and you tell them, hey, you don't get to lose anything because you can ask for your money back and you get it. So these are things that you build into your offer all right the final piece of the pie is number 12 urgency so urgency is basically what you do to help people make that decision faster all right so that people don't waste a lot of time and deciding whether to buy your product or not to buy so you put this usually when you look at this offer here you see offer ends 28th of february and probably he is making this offer like um two days ahead or three or four days ahead everybody depending so but basically it, it's a time frame a time frame within which you have to make that decision so when you have offers that say offer closes in three days or in four hours or in 90 days or that, those kind of things so it's very or you can there are some people who tell you that hey we are giving a discount of ten thousand naira if you pay before this time. After this time, it goes away. You have to pay higher. Okay. So these are what you build into your offer to make people take that decision faster. Very important. Do not sell your product without putting urgency. I recommend that at all times. Put an element of urgency in your offer. Okay. So that's basically the 12 things about creating um, offers that sell out. Thank you very much. Um, your assignment basically is to look at each of this and look at the product that you have created and ask yourself, does this create an offer around it? Does it have these elements inside it? Write out, write out things and possibly um, run and run with it basically. Thank you very much and be your good self.